Heute sind wir, ich bin die Mariana und heute vergleiche ich Robux und Ultimaker 3. When it comes about using the printer, Ultimaker no issues at all. It was so easy, it worked great, just one try and I already had it. So the Ultimaker 3 took around 4 hours. That might sound like a lot, but you might want to keep in mind that the support structure was very sturdy and it's a different type of material that needed to cover more area. So at the end of the day, it might have taken around maybe two hours with another type of structures. Robux? I still don't know what the issue was. I had to repeat to try again at least five times to get finally one Digidog. I can't believe you just did that. Maybe that was just bad luck, but yeah, I didn't have bad luck with Ultimaker 3. So far what I've been able to see is that the Robux does a very fast work. Um, the Digidog is still printing, but so far we've seen that Robux is making half the time of what it took the Ultimaker 3 to print the same model with the same settings. We still have to compare the quality of the final product, but I'm very excited. The Robux took a bit less than two hours and it also comes with two extruders. The Heiming Band, I have a Heinen Drucker that I myself built. Oh, it's over! Yes, it finished printing Digidog! <gasps> and this is the first time we dare to print um, an object that needs support in our printer. We usually just design whatever we need in such a way that it's not necessary to use supports. So we'll see how it went. Of course it doesn't have a button. That's too fancy for this type of printer. It's super busy. I can just limit myself to this. I'm going to take off the support. Mm -hmm. That was easy. Ah, oh, nervous. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Digidog! It did a great job the first time until the printer died. It does that sometimes, but the second try went well. So you can see here, just two, two tries and it stopped being moody. <laughs> the Digidog printed with my um, self-made printer took two hours and a half, but the infill was very close. So it could have taken also around two hours, one and a half, and it still have the same quality. So I think with the three of them, you could have great quality with very little time. It all depends on the support structures and also you can configure it to get the most in the less amount of time. If money wasn't an issue, I would definitely go for the Ultimaker 3. It's so pretty, it's so easy, but it takes out the fun of having something you build yourself. And there's the, also the advantage that if a piece breaks with a homemade printer, you can just print your own repairing pieces. You can solve it yourself at home. So it's a different market. If I would sell, try to sell my printer, it would be to somebody who's up for the challenge and having the fun of just make it yourself. Some limitations that you might want to keep in mind are the size of this uh, of the objects you can print in each printer. Ultimaker and my homemade printer are able to print uh, 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Robux can go that high. Keep that in mind. Still, Robux is very pretty, and I love the option to take out the bed. The Ultimaker produces a lot of filament of trash filament all over the place, it will end up just being... Um, you'll have to clean it more often. <laughs> it went well right from the start. The filament was swaddle soluble, so it made uh, no residues at all. The lowest part looks very pretty, and that usually is a problem when working with uh, 
an object that needs uh, support. I like the quality of the print the Robux produced, but it's not trouble free. I started using the support structure, the support filament that came with the Robux, and as you can see, it left a lot of residues, but it worked pretty decent. Uh, the lower part is very problematic, uh, but that's what you might expect with any time you're printing something that needs support. And it was very fast. So how did my printer perform against the other big printers? Well, this is very exciting. The end result is pretty decent. It was also very fast, where the print starts working with the supports is very messy. But overall, it is, it is a pretty decent print. And I'm sure with some change of settings, it could be fervescent, <laughs> improved. <laughs> so if you don't need to print anything that needs support structures, then you should go for my printer. I mean, I did. <laughs> I can't afford anything else. <laughs>